Hey guys, today we're going to replace a carrier unit, or I'll show you how to take it out and then how to put it back in. Um, so first we're going to just open this when the printer is on to have this carrier in the middle as the carrier's unit. Um, and then I'm just going to unplug the printer. Okay, we're going to pull out the ink cartridges. And the print head. Here we go. Put that back in. Then what we need to do is get a flathead screwdriver and you will see these uh, arrows right here to these holes. You can just push it in there and as you do that push this top plastic to like to this side. If you're looking at the printer see the right. There are some on the bottom also, right here, and um, you can just kind of, after you've done those in the back, you can just go ahead and do that again, there we go, and the side just kind of pops off, let's open this, another area is right here. Here. And it's pretty much the same for the for the other side. There we go. Nothing's broken. Remove this French piece over here. So after we remove this, we can just unplug the scanner. So we can remove, you don't have to unplug, you can just open it. So this is the, um, the clips that hold it down. And we also have the control panel over here. I believe that's the control panel that we need to disconnect. And then a couple, a couple more clips front. There's a uh, Phillips head screwdriver right there. We got that out. A clip here. I think we're going to be able to just lift this up now. Couple more things we need to disconnect the front.
There we go. Top off the printer. This is the carrier unit. In order to remove it, first need to remove this timing strip. Just push it to the right and just get it out of there. And then we're going to unscrew these. You remove the bar to put it back in. Just make sure the it's in this position. It's between these two holes right here. All of these four holes are going to be over like that. And then this portion of it, the bent one, is going to be inside of this. So it holds down the, um, the position of the carrier. So now it's pretty much ready to get out. You just need to disconnect it right here. And it just comes out like that. Definitely need to disconnect it on this side to get it disconnected from the main board. Um, and that's pretty much it. When you're going to be feeding the uh, the strip here, it needs to go into the right place. So it's, it's going to go right in between here, like so, in between that area. So it's read by the sensor. This unscrews, and you can just remove this. This holds the power, uh, the cord here. So we're just going to put it back in. First, we're going to attach the belt. Just make sure it is not bent. Make sure it's like this here, uh, not twisted. I mean, you're going to connect it on this side over that wheel. And that's a tension wheel that you can just push to attach over the motor wheel. And you're just going to slide it in here. Just make sure it slides on this rail right here and that the belt looks proper. Looks right to me. Um, then if you if you are putting a new one, make sure you connect everything properly there. Uh, I recommend to take pictures as you go when you do a repair. So and then you can if it needs to lay flat, there's these punched um, tabs that you can use as a guide, and then you're gonna put all the screws back in place. and it tightens where you can feel that it's properly going back and forth. back and forth um, and definitely when you're all done with all this just make sure you uh, here we go it's the timing strip that goes in here going to install it with digits that you can read on this side and you're going to feed it through first Uh, maybe it's probably best to feed it through before you install it, but so you can make sure that it's in the proper area. Like I said, if it's not in between the sensor area where it's supposed to be, then it's not going to work. It's just going to slam back and forth. Then you're going to connect it right here. that spring and then you can just put it on this um, latch right here after you're done with that you just go ahead and put this cover back on
So it's the only screw here. The, the rest are going to be clips like this one, two in the back. Go front. We're going to connect the scanner back. We're going to connect it into here. Here, this is the main board. I mean, the control panel connects right here, and then you can just have to latch it back. There we go. We're going to connect these things here. This one didn't need to be disconnected, but oh well that and this one right here there you go. you're going to latch that back in attach these covers We got it in the right area, which at first we didn't, so now it's all in there and ready to go. Okay, so the printer is now working fine. Um, the carrier is moving back and forth properly, and you just make sure you connected everything back normally and you should be good to go. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully, this was helpful for you. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.